Okay, let's take a look at part two of related rate problems, and we're going to follow the same four steps that we had in part one. Draw a sketch and label the variables. Uh, write an equation that ties them all together. Uh, differentiate both sides with respect to time, and then substitute the known quantities and solve. So let's take a look at a, at a different kind of problem. Yeah, here's the problem. You've got a 30-foot ladder that's leaning against a wall. Uh, the top of the ladder slides down at 4 feet per second. Find the rate at which the bottom of the ladder is moving away from the wall when the bottom is 10 feet from the wall. Now, the first thing to do is draw yourself a picture and label all the things that you know and the things that you don't know. So in this case, what I know is this. So here's, the, here's the wall. Here's the 30-foot ladder. Now, just to give it some units, I'm going to go ahead and put Y on this side and put X on this side. Now, First of all, write down the things that you know. Uh, if y represents the height of the top of the ladder, the top of the ladder is moving down. And it's moving down at 4 feet per second, <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and write that down. So I know that dy dt is 4 feet per second. So I know that. Now the question is, what's the, what's the question asking for? What the question is asking for is the rate at which the bottom of the ladder <clears throat> is moving away from the wall, and that would be the rate at which x is changing, which is dx dt is equal to what? So that's the thing I'm solving for. And a lot of times, the hardest part of the problem is just drawing a picture and figuring out what you're solving for. So I know the rate at which y is changing. I want to find the rate at which x is changing. So I've got to come up with an equation that ties y to x. And really about the only equation you've got is the Pythagorean theorem, so we'll go ahead and use that. So what I've got here is um, x squared plus y squared. Now, on these kind of problems, this is true. Whenever you have a, a value that doesn't change in the entire problem, the length of the ladder is 30 feet, and that's constant through the whole problem. So you can go ahead and substitute that in immediately. So I know that x squared plus y squared is going to be equal to 30 feet squared. Now, <clears throat> I've got an equation that ties them together. So the next step, take the derivative of both sides. So this would be the derivative of 2x, or x squared would be 2x times dx dt, plus the derivative of y, 2y times dy dt. And the derivative of a constant, remember, is 0. Now I want to solve for dx dt, so I'll move the dy dt over here. So I've got 2x times dx dt is equal to negative 2y times dy dt. Now I want to solve for x, so I'll take the 2x on this side and move it over to this side, which gets me to 2x times dx dt or divided by, or 2x, or derivative of x with respect to time, would be equal to, and this is negative 2y divided by, take the 2x from this side and move it to the bottom on this side, times dy dt. Now finally, these 2's will cancel out. This 2 will cancel out this 2. So I wind up with this. Uh, the change in x with respect to time is equal to negative y divided by uh, x times the change in y with respect to time. And at this point, I've found the derivative. I can go ahead and plug in the values and see if I can get the final answer. So what I'll do here is this. I've got a negative. Now, the question says find the rate at which the bottom of the ladder is moving away when x is equal to 10 feet. So when x is equal to 10 feet, uh, how fast is it moving at that point? So in place of x, go ahead and put 10 feet and include the units. Make sure you got the units in there. Now you also know the rate at which y is moving away. You know that y is changing at 4 feet per second. So I'll put 4 feet per second over here. But here's the problem, uh, and this will pop up quite a few times on related rate problems. You won't have all the information you need. Now, my problem is this. I need to know what y is at the instant that x is 10 feet. So the question is, what is y? 
In a lot of problems, you got to go do what I call a little side calculation. So I'll put that up here. This is going to be my side calculation. And I've got to find y. Well, again, I'll use the Pythagorean theorem. When x is equal to 10, what is y? So you can plug this into the Pythagorean theorem. So when x is equal to 10, you want to find y squared. And the latter is a constant 30 squared. So this will tell you what y is when x is equal to 10. So this gives you 100 plus y squared is equal to 900. Subtract 100 from both sides. y squared would be equal to 800. Take the square root of both sides, and you get y is equal to 28.28, and that will be feet. So I'm going to put a little box around this because I'll use quite a few of these little side box calculations. So what I've got here is this and that. Okay, so there's my little side calculation. I now know what y is. So I can take this value of y and plug it in down here. So this would be 28.28 feet. So now I know everything I need to solve the problem. Well, right away, the feet, and I keep an eye on the units, the feet cancel out. So feet here and feet here cancel out. If you stick this on a calculator to get a final answer, you will get negative 11.3 feet per second. And that's the rate at which the bottom of the ladder is moving away from the wall. Now, as far as the positives and negatives go, it just depends on how you set up the problem. If you wanted to, you could call this a negative 4 feet per second. So that it, uh, depending on how you've drawn your problem, you just really you can ignore the negative. All I want to know is how fast is it moving away. And it's moving away at 11.3 feet per second. And that is dx dt which is the rate at which uh, the bottom of the ladder is moving away. And you would be done. So just kind of review the whole thing. Draw, draw a picture and label the things that you know and the things that you don't know. Uh, find an equation, and we'll use this one right here. Find an equation that ties everything together. In this case, it's the Pythagorean theorem. Anything that stays constant through the whole problem, you can go ahead and plug in immediately. So when you find the derivative of constants, you get this. Well, solve this equation, find the derivative, and solve it for the thing that you're looking for. In this case, you're looking for dx dt. But when you start plugging in the numbers, occasionally something will be missing. So you're going to need a missing part. If you need a missing part, then do this. Just go off to the side and do a little side calculation, find the missing part, and then bring it back and plug it into the formula. Now you've got everything that you need. Stick it on a calculator, you get the answer, and you're done. So there's another uh, a second uh, part two related rate problem example.